This is a standard servo. It'll turn up to 180 degrees in each direction. When you buy a servo, it's going to come with an attachment, maybe a few attachments. This is the most common attachment here. These attachments have little teeth inserts that slide over top of the shaft of the servo. You can then put a screw in the center to hold it in place. Servos are great for connecting to things like arms for your robot. Use a hot glue gun and a Dremel and shave down the plastic piece and you can attach the arm to the servo. Let's connect to our EZB. Select Add Control, select Servo, and you can either choose a vertical servo or horizontal servo. The only difference between the two is how the servo is mounted. The control is laid out in a fashion to allow it to be easier for you to understand how you're sliding the control back and forth. So in this case, we're just going to use a standard horizontal servo. We're going to configure it for D14. And now when I slide this dial, the servo will move. There are 36 different positions that the servo can be in. In the servo configuration tab, you can specify the minimal and maximum position that your servo can be allowed to move to. On some robots, you might not be able to move your servo all the way a certain direction. There's other ways to control a servo also. For example, you can use the joystick control. With the joystick control, we can specify the port for the servo. And then when we use the joystick, I'm going to put a drop of hot glue gun in this robot head. And attach it to the top of the servo. And now with the joystick, I'll be able to move the head back and forth. You can also add the voice recognition module located under speech, voice recognition, and press the configure button. By default, there'll be a bunch of commands already populated. They allow you to move a robot around if you're using a movement panel. In this case, we're going to add our own. We're going to say, robot, look, left. And if you reference the commands on the right, the command servo allows you to move a servo into a specific position. D14, comma, position 1. And robot look right to servo D14, position 30. Robot look right. Robot look left. Robot, look right. You can plug 20 servos into the EZB along all 20 of the digital ports that are along the side. Over time, you'll start collecting a lot of attachments to deal with servos. Every time you order a servo, you may receive two or three attachments. Also, on eBay, you might find people who are selling handfuls of these things for dollars. Plug in many servos into an EZB, add attachments, use a hot glue gun to attach robot arms and pieces to the servos, use a joystick or voice recognition, and control your robot. And in no time, with a few servos, you'll be able to create robots like Wally. -E. Hi, Wally. -E.